converting 5.2 into the floating point representation. Number 5 can be represented in a binary as 1, 0, 1. Point 2 we are converting to binary by multiplying it by 2. Point 2 times 2 is point 0.4, 0. Point 0.4 times 2 is point 0.8, 0. Point 0.8 times 2 is 1.6. One point 0.6 one point times 2 is 1.2. So now we see that we came back to point 2, which means we will repeat the pattern. So we know that 5.2 can be represented in a binary as 101.0011011 and it goes forever. So now we are converting this to the floating point representation. The first step is moving this dot just before the very first one so it's one two we are moving this uh, by two positions it is one point zero one zero zero one one zero zero one one and so the exponential is plus two so now there's a trick that we have to add 127 to our exponential which is two it is 129 which in a binary is one followed by six zeros on one. Now we are building a floating point uh, number. The first part is a mantissa. It's one bit which represents the a sign of the number. If it's zero, that means the number is positive. One represents a negative number. Our number is positive, so we are putting zero here. Here we are inserting our Exponenta, exponenta, so it has eight bits, and here we have this eight bits, which is one, six, zeros, and one. And here we are inserting our number. However, we are dropping this one, so we are inserting this over here, which is zero, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, one. 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and the number has a limit, so we will cut this anyway. So now let's see, this is 1 bit, this is 8 bits, and this part, the fraction part, has 23 bits, so let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So the number is still here and we are forgetting about that. So let's rewrite the number one more time. It's 0, 1, 6 zeros, 1, and this pattern 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. So this is the floating point number uh, in a binary. We can now convert this into the hexadecimal number. So we are dividing this into the pieces of 4 bits. 4, 4, 4, 4. Uh, this number is 6 in a hexadecimal, 6 six 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 this is a this is zero and this is four so this is a hexadecimal representation of this floating point number